From virtual swords and islands to virtual palaces and even planets, we take a look through 10 of the most expensive virtual items ever sold. Number 10. World of Warcraft Character $9,000 in September 2007, a level 70 Night Elf Rogue, the highest rank attainable at the time in World of Warcraft, sold for 9,000 bucks. The character named Zuzo owned a number of high-powered items and some armor that had been gained from defeating challenging quests. The original owner needed to sell Zuzo to get out of financial difficulties, and buyers were willing to pay up to $9,000 to acquire it because of its reputation as the best rogue character in the game. Number 9. Echoing Fury Mace, $14,000 When Echoing Fury Mace was found as loot in Diablo 3, it was sold through internet forums at only $250. It was passed between players before it made its way to public sale again. The bid on the Echoing Fury Mace escalated until it was sold at 40 billion gold, which had a value of around $14,000 in real life. Number 8. Virtual Sword, $16,000 in 2011, the developers of MMO Age of Woolen held an auction to sell a number of different items that would be put in the game when it eventually got released in 2013. The biggest selling item was the Dragon Slaying Saber Scabbard. The sword was one of a kind that would not be available to any other players, which added to its lure. The winning bid ended at 100,000 won, estimated at roughly $16,000. Number 7. Virtual Island $26,500 I've heard a lot about the Entropia universe, the online virtual universe designed by Mindark, a software company. They seem to be topping the charts of the most expensive virtual items, starting with the Treasure Island. This island is highly praised by fans, and it was sold at a staggering $26,500. Number 6. War Dog $38,000 the Ethereal Flames Pink War Dog is a courier in Valve's Dota 2 that sold in a private transaction for $38,000 within a day of the listing going online. What makes this courier so valuable is that it combines several rare features, like the rare pink color, the fact that it's a war dog, and the Ethereal Frames aesthetic effect. Number 5. Virtual Amsterdam $50,000 in the game's second life, Amsterdam was one of the most popular locations as a result of its incredible and detailed build and reproductions of the real-life Amsterdam, including a train station and large public square. In the game, it also featured big events like concerts and other gatherings. The most attractive feature of this game, however, was the array of shops selling sex toys. Amsterdam was listed for sale on eBay, and it sold for $50,000. Number 4. Virtual Egg, $70,000 This egg was purported to hatch into a character on the universe that had never been used before. It was sold by John Never Die Jacobs to Zackham Deathifier Emergent on February 1st, 2010 at precisely $69,696.09, making it the most expensive portable virtual object. Number 3. Virtual Palace, $330,000 the Entropia universe was designed to allow players to trade property and items like we do in the real world. It allows players to withdraw and deposit actual currency into the game, making it a viable way to make a living for some users. Crystal Palace was a popular destination in the Entropia universe and had a sizable income. It sold in 2009 to a user called Buzz Eric Lightyear for 3,300,000 PEDs, which converted to non-nerd real-life money comes out to be about $330,000. Number 2. Virtual Club $635,000 In 2010, John Jacobs decided to sell Club Never Die, which he'd owned for several years. He sold each section of the location separately, bringing in a total of $635,000. Jacobs definitely made back the $100,000 he had used to purchase the resort back in 2008. Number 1. Planet Calypso – $6 million Planet Calypso was created in 2003 and, according to gamers, has offered an online gaming experience second to none. It is a sci-fi MMOG created by Mindar, where players from all over the world join together in the development of a new civilization. In 2009, Mindark revealed that they had signed a letter of intent to sell Planet Calypso to SEE Virtual Worlds at $6 million. This deal, however, was called off in 2011 when Mindark announced the end of their partnership with SEE. 
I don't know. What do you think? Would you spend this kind of coin on something that's not tangible? Let us know in the comments down below. And for more videos like this every day, make sure and subscribe to Wacky Wednesday.